up, y'all? This is Drunk in the Sun with Joe and Tom. Guess what? We're going to get drunk and talk about everything under the sun. <laughs> Show about anything and anything under the sun. We didn't do that. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> this episode is fire. Check us out every week on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, and Spotify. Oh, shit. I come at you every week. First of all, this is for entertainment. We're not educational. Yeah. We're not. If you're coming to get your education from us, you are clearly misguided. Exactly. But, but check us out. We're the show about anything and everything under the sun. We check us out. Cops show up. Like, what are you doing in there? He's like, I swear to God. Swear to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't think that's legit. I don't think it's legit. Either. Hey, what up, y'all, man? This is Drunk in the Sun with John. John? John. John? No, it's Tom. Tom and Joe. God damn, how drunk am I? Yeah, guys. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Oh, that's just drinky. <laughs> ah. Screaming, I deserve this. <laughs> what did he deserve? <laughs> Fuck. Like and subscribe so you get the notifications when we do drop something. Probably pretty fucking lame. But anyways, check it out. Drinking in the Sun, a podcast about anything and everything under the sun. Oh my god. I think I had something else too. I can't remember. I did have something else. I was going to shit my pants. But I can't remember. You watching the movies or anything lately? I'm watching a fucking doc, like a series about, based on a true story shit. And I can't remember the true story enough to like bash it because I feel like it's doing a bad job. I think I, I think they're making these parents look a lot better than they actually were. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm like, I don't want to shit talk it without maybe revisiting the other stuff yeah. because I remember I watched an actual documentary with everybody in it, and the story is fucked up. It is fucked up. This is the true story. I don't know what the series is going to go, but the true story goes. These back in like the late seventies, uh, there was this family, and they got real buddy buddy with this guy from their church. Yeah, and he went like was all kinds of fucked up shit started happening. Like he was he had either went through a divorce, he had some kind of depression, something, and he was claiming as part of his treatment he would have to sleep in the same bed as their daughter, right? And she's oh, like twelve, what? she's like twelve years old, and these people were like, okay, whatever. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> hold on. I think I watched this. The, the woman, went, the the wife went crazy. Well, she kind of does. She fucks this guy. Like everybody in the what's it co- called? The documentary is called like taken, kidnapped, stolen, in plain sight, something like that. I can't oh, remember. That's what not what I'm thinking of because I was I watched <clears throat> one. Go ahead. Was I'm it sorry. true? I'm sorry, but I, it was true story. But it was about the fucking mom who. Oh! At the end of the documentary, at the end of the documentary, remember, this mom. Yeah. Because she was a religious nut. Killed and, her kids in that. But they, we don't know. The, 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 it, at the end of the documentary, it said the, the investigation and she was still going to trial him for shit. Oh, is it, that the one that killed? No, oh, fuck. I guarantee I you she I killed her daughter. Yeah. I, I guarantee you she killed her daughter. But they they, they, were, they were saying on the documentary at the end of the, the show, it was a, it's a relatively new show. I, I think I saw um, it too. I know what you're talking about. It's like, because what she what ends up <clears> happening was she, she flips out. But she gets she gets fucking married, and divorced like three times. Yes, yeah, it's the same show. Yeah, it's like I I don't remember the name, but the the picture is like it. Yeah. yeah. But it, what what so she and the, and she's an attractive woman, right? Yeah. And then she lands this one guy, and everything's going good. Everything, but then she gets starts getting into like more religious crazy shit. And then she blasts the guy, right? They well, kill him? no, yeah, but her brother does. Her brother, yeah, her brother yeah, yeah. shoots the guy, and they, they say they claim self it's self-defense. Defense. Yes. The cops believe them, yes, because the cops even like it ends up having she go, she the because at one time she stole the dude's car, yeah, and then they caught her and she convinced them that she didn't do nothing wrong. And they let her go. Mm-hmm. And they're like, this dude was like, I'm fucked. What the fuck, right? <clears throat> so then he goes there because he wants to see his kid. Well, she yeah. took his kid, took his kid. Yeah. Because it, it, it's, in my eyes, she killed the, the boy, the little boy. They had a little boy she killed. Little boy, no, they found the bodies. 
That documentary, did they, they find the bodies. I yeah. didn't think they did. Yeah, they, they everybody they recover all the bodies. I believe. I thought it said it was ongoing. I don't know, but you know, like they never got any charges or anything for killing that guy in self defense. Yeah, like they got scot free. Well, that what ends up happening when her brother dies himself. Yeah, exactly. Later I can't on, remember how though. I guarantee you they killed him. <laughs> Probably. I, can't I wish I remember what the fuck that was called. It was called Our Mother or Killer Mother. No, nah, or... it was something about, it was Mother. I can't remember. Though. I don't know. It was a crazy documentary. It's on Netflix. It was pretty good. I'll I don't. It. I don't remember what the documentary that I watched yeah. the name of it was. It was either Taken in Plain Sight, Kidnapped, something, something like that in Plain Sight, whatever. But what it was is like, this guy gets real good with the family, right? Gets real close to this daughter somehow. Winds up kidnapping her for like so long, right? Mm -hmm. And the family like waits a couple days before they report her missing. Because they're, he's with this guy. And like somehow he seduces the mom. Man, and fucks her. Winds up freaking talking the husband and the jerking him off in the car. Right? No. Yes. <laughs> yes. No shit. And, and then manages to kidnap their daughter a second time because they let him back into the fucking house. It's the fuck, most fucked up crazy That's shit. Fucked up. <laughs> it is. So he's like fucking all of them. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's, it's insane. Now, I haven't run across, like, they are alluding to some shit in the, in the series I'm watching on Peacock. It's called a friend of the family or something like that. <coughs> and uh, I think, I don't think he was married at the time. I think he got divorced before all this shit, but they're playing off like he was. And the parents haven't jerked anybody off yet. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. So I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be 100% accurate. <laughs> Maybe. But, Maybe not. But what, what is uh, the main, the dad is Tom Hanks's kid. And when you're, oh, really? And when you're not watching it. All you hear is Tom Hanks. He sounds just like his dad. I'm Not like, really. is this Tom Hanks? But yeah. he's got he sounds very similar. Yeah. But yeah, it's Tom Hanks. It's so his, he's the people. narrator? No, he's the dad. He's the dad in it. Oh, it's a t it's a show. It's a series on uh Peacock, yeah. Uh-huh. They made a series about the fucked up actual events. Oh. Like they have the chick that happened that So you watch the documentary and you watch the Yes, so I'm the like comparing drama. Yeah, I'm I'm comparing what's going on. Right. I do that a lot. Because like I feel like they're letting these parents off looking a little bit better, but I think they're doing that because the daughter, like the actual victim is part like she's in the very first shot and she's like this really this shit really happened to me, blah 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 blah. And then it goes into like the story. Really? <clears throat> and it's and it's showing like what happened. What's it's, it called? Uh, a friend of the family. Huh. And it's on Peacock. Oh, I don't know that. I know. But it's interesting. I'm I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna keep watching it to see if see if they're true to the actual story. And I gotta watch the other documentary again quick so I know the actual details. Yeah. Because I feel like they're making their parents not look as stupid as they really were. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's Hollywood. They tend yeah. to do that, and and with the kid being involved, yeah. well, let's make dad and mom look a little bit less dumb. Let's not let him jerk him off. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a crazy fucking story. It is crazy, but the guy, like in the documentary, the dude's telling the story. Like the dad is being like, and he was like. Well, it, it, it came across like one of those scenes like... He was know, really hot. And I was like, you know what? I haven't had anything. I'll jerk him and me off. Ah! No, no it, it, the guy, the guy <clears throat> like that was trying to talk him into jerking him off, it almost came across like that weird excuse where that guys used to be like, it hurts. You know, that type of thing. No. He's like, you're... Well, back in the day, I guess guys used to say if they got an erection, it hurts. And that and the only way to help him feel better is to jerk him off or fuck him. <laughs> I mean, it does. <laughs> it does. It doesn't hurt, but it does make it feel better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It hurts. He said, rub it. Exactly. Okay, pal. Exactly. Oh, I, I, fuck that. That's but crazy. It, but that's what, it's, that's what it came across like. But it was more like, you know, we're friends. Friends do anything for each other, right? I'm real horny. How about you jerk me off? Wow. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, like, you're my best friend. I would never come close to your cock. In fact, when I, when I touch your touch your hand, I'm like, ah. Oh. Yeah, but 
that that's what he was like. He was like, well, you know, hey, man. Friends. And you got really pretty eyes. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. So why'd you jerk him off for it? Well, you told me my hair looked good that day. There was a threat involved. Oh, was there? There was something. No, there was something like something. He had else. his cock in my mouth at first. And I was like, no. <laughs> it's like just jerking him. I guess better. <laughs> but why would you agree to that? The 45 in his hand. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but, but like, no, it come like he got all this shit. Like he fucked the mom and got that guy to jerk him off to like blackmail him. Yeah. Like, well, if oh, he that's that's basically so he like kid so the guy probably came back later. It's like, hey man, we want me to jerk you off? Oh no, I, I just want to hold this above your head. I think they're gonna show it because in the documentary, the series, because. Now that I think about it, it's going to make more sense once they allude to that because they keep time jumping forward, oh, backward, really? forward, backward. So it's like, he's going to jerk him off. And that's why this dad's <laughs> going to be more lenient in this scene because yeah. he's blackmailing him, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I got to think I want to take whatever his daughter's name is. I'm going to take her to the movie tomorrow. That's a rated X movie. He's like, oh, you go ahead, yeah. take her. Basically, because he did that, he was like, hey, remember that time you used your hand really well? <laughs> I told you to go up, down, all around. But and he, you were like, yeah, what's my eye? <laughs> but, but he pulls shit like that because he's like, he kidnaps their daughter and he's like, well, if you don't let me off of this, I'm going to let him know you jerked me off and you're going to look gay in front of everybody. And the dad was like, okay. I would have been like, fuck that shit. I don't care. Yeah, what I would have said was, I would say, go ahead, tell him. I'll deny that too. <laughs> you look like a fucking idiot. Because I was like, are you serious? How many playboys I have? I have not one playgirl. Why would I jerk this man off? So go ahead. You tell him that. And they sure as fuck ain't gonna believe you like the whole time. This old looking motherfucker's not jerking you off. <laughs> yeah. Why would He's you like, want him to jerk you off? Yeah. Like, are you serious? Why did I get his why did I get his daughter? That's what I was trying to get. <laughs> but first I had to get him on board. <coughs> and the only way to do that was to blackmail him. Exactly. Why can't you be a nice guy? Because <coughs> oh, I'm a psychopath. A, yeah, that have they, he kidnaps her twice. Really? Twice before they he finally gets to jail. It's fucked That's up. That's fucked up. After fucking them all. It's fucked up. It's just it's like the crazy. It's really fucked up. How old was the kid? Like 12, 12. 13? Yeah, 12. Jesus. Yeah. It's fucked. Yeah. It was back before or right at the verge of when pedophilia became a term. Is Really? Yeah, they didn't have a word for it. Really? Yeah. At that they just time. said a child fucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they just put it out. Because I guarantee you, brash and because like because you hear about historical figures all the time, yeah, having young ass girls. So yeah. that shit has been around for a grip, yeah. And that and, that, and when did that come? What was the nineteen seventies? What the fuck? <laughs> you telling me that shit's been around since eons? In nineteen seventies is when they came up with the term. Yeah. Hey, what do we call this thing? I don't know. They're child fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and some guy named this, no some, guy named P, some guy named some guy named pedophilia. He's like Doctor <laughs> Pedophilia. I think he has it. I think he's got his. So they they're like, you're right. He's a, he's a child fucker, sir. <laughs> and he's like, you know what? We'll call it. <laughs> what, what are they called? Pedophilia. Because now I'm trying to make fun of it. <laughs> pedophilia. Like doctor, you came up with a great great way of describing that. You just like your name on the title. <laughs> It's like, his real name was like pedophilia. Yeah. Pedophilius. I don't know. I don't oh, know, it? shit. That joke turned bad real fast. <laughs> but I get what you're trying to say. But yeah. yeah like, why? But, but, That's <laughs> fucked up. What do we call this thing? I don't know. It's sick. That's what we call it. Yeah. It's probably all they had a name for. We can't allude to it. Wow. It's probably like, um,. Voldemort, he must not be. Oh named. yeah, he must not be named. <laughs> yeah. He's doing the. He must not be named right now. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Well, let's make a name for it so we know what we're talking about. <laughs> and remember, Christians co started this world, right? I guess. No, I, don't know. I mean, it's very. It is very religious. They is met it? at church. Oh, they met at church. Yeah, dude, what the fuck? 
That seems to be like the goal of everyone. I know. Hey, I'm going to go to church, fuck a bunch of chicks, <laughs> and make them think that I right. am the next God. Exactly. Like, That's you remember? Old cards are wait, cold. you know how they do it? You know how they do it? They memorize a bunch of Bible verses. <laughs> And they memorize which ones kind of make sense if you use it in this context. Yeah. And then people are like, that makes a lot of sense. Remember Isaiah 5, 9, 7, 4? He shall not be killed who shall not be named. <laughs> like yeah. shit like that. And then women are like, he's right. Let me suck his cock. Like, and then at first like, they, they, no, they, I can't. they like, I can't. The Lord won't let me. And they're All like, right. and then they're like, and they're like, uh, like. Lord. Seven hours later, they're like, hey, remember that time when the Lord couldn't let me? I got word from up above. He said, go ahead. <laughs> and then fucking, he starts fucking this other one, and they don't know about it. And then he brings them together. He's like, look, guys, we can all God. be on God's team. <laughs> and it can be the shit. So how about you both? <laughs> That's how that's, that's how cults get made. It's true. It is true. And then what happens is these two women that he's got gargling and shit are telling how big and awesome he is and yeah. bad and whatever, yeah. and that he knows God because he can quote Isaiah eight five five nine exactly right. Thou he shall not be killed, shall not be named. So, so then what happens is that everyone's loving him. And they're telling their husbands, because these chicks blah, 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 are married. <laughs> and then you tell their husbands, and the husband ends up, and then they end up, one day he, he's like, the, the preacher wants to meet with us all. Oh. They come to a room, a big-ass temple thing. He's like, look, I want you all to be in my fold. So I need all four of you to... <laughs> and and, and, and they're like, or most times, if not, they go, listen, your wives... As they're going down on him. He's like, this is what God wants. Do you want to stand in that and go to hell? And the two guys are like, well, no. Well, what, should we, what should we do? I don't know. Finish me off. <laughs> That's how cults are made. Yep. Exactly. It, pretty much. Because it all ends that way. And Everybody's they're all, fucking the leader they're by they're the end. They're fucking the leader by the end of time. <laughs> yeah. Every time. Yeah, every time. That's and it's because up. he convinces them all. Exactly. And like the dude, like that's what happened with David Koresh. Like these dudes were like cool with David <clears throat> Koresh fucking his daughters and his wives. Yeah. He's like, listen. But he was Jesus. Listen, God wants this. <laughs> now. God, 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 God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's uh, all I got on that's it. That's basically all we need. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Drunk of the Sun. This is Joe and Tom. Thanks for watching. A thanks to everybody. Like and subscribe. And thank you all for subscribing and liking. From Drunk of the Sun, the podcast about everything and anything under the sun. So check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, and Instagram. We're posting new shit every week. See ya.